Cheryl Young from PEI. I love PEI. <laughs> so Cheryl, I just love it that I get to interview you about Jerry Visca's third spiritual novel, The Life I Didn't Notice. And I love that you wanted to be part of the energy of the traveling manuscripts. Talk about emotional. <laughs> I like ride for five hours. <laughs> what was the greatest impact on you from reading this novel? The greatest impact, especially at the point that I, where I was in my life reading the manuscript, was the whole energy and topic about forgiveness. Because while I was reading it, I was going through a process of forgiving others, but also of forgiving myself for things that um, I've done or said in my life. It really takes your soul <laughs> when you read it. And it takes you on a journey of going through all the things that we as humans need to go through in order to live this amazing life. I know that's what makes this novel so accessible so that people can receive the teaching. So what Jerry's really done in this novel is make everything human so that as you're following the character in, in the book, you're going, yes, yes, hell yes, you know? And really, he put it in the aspect of, you know, death. <laughs> and I'm sorry, if, if anything's gonna wake you up, it's gonna be death. So, you know, <laughs> I think it was, I think it's in the context of how he set the book up that it really hits home about Life is not about five easy steps. How did reading this novel deepen that for you and bring it to life? I'm just gonna get emotional as I say it. He put it in the context that every single person, whether you're male or female, or whether you know, you're know you young or old, he put it in the context so that each person reading it would be able to feel those emotions that Lily Fields had to endure. <laughs> well, I love you, what you said. He made it so yeah. human. He made it really, really, uh, yeah. uh, we're able to relate to it even more. And I'm so, like, I think every single person needs to read this book. <laughs> you know, Cheryl, I wanted to ask you, when Jerry first said about writing the novel, The Life I Didn't Notice, he reached out to quite a few people to ask them, about the theme, noticing your life. And he was just amazed by the response he received. So I wanted to ask you, how did the overall theme of this novel, The Life I Didn't Notice, or Noticing Your Life, move you? First of all, I was so interested in the book before I, as soon as I heard it, because I, I want to notice my life and I want others to notice their life. Whenever I heard of the topic of the book, and I was part of a, a group um, that Jerry and you had about creating your life and noticing your life, it really hit me home how many times in my life I wasn't present. How many times that I acted on impulse and or said or done things that really wasn't me. It was in that moment of not being present. Why do you think Jerry's spiritual novel is even more impactful than a self-help book? He takes, instead of those five easy steps, he makes the spiritual transformation human. Like, you know, like, and it's kind of like, he doesn't set us up expecting us to be perfect. He sets us up just asking in the novel, asking for us to just be present and to live each moment as best we could, again, 
as best we can in that moment, always standing in our truth and living our deeper why, which is our passion and purpose. Because not only did I fall in love with it, but it had that impact that we're all looking for in life to have that connection while you're reading it in a book, but also to sit back and say, I need to connect more with other humans. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, you know, like not through a phone, not through, um, you know, I'm going to say the computer, but to really connect with those that are close to us and be face to face, feel and embrace. Yeah. Don't waste time, you know? Yeah. And I think it's like all about connecting with this book.